Good morning and welcome to worship this morning. It is good to be able to worship together using the technology that God has provided. It's good to be able to worship knowing that wherever we are, that God is present with his church, that there is nowhere that we can flee. We can try to be Jonah and run to the ends of the earth and still, as the psalmist says, we can try to hide in the darkness and darkness is as light to you. And so wherever you are this morning, we are thankful that God is with us as a people. It's in that knowledge we come and we worship him. And this morning I wanted to begin worship with the words from the beginning of Book of Acts. And the reason for this is this week Thursday would be typically what the church, when the church celebrates Ascension Day. When Christ rose before his disciples into the heavens. And so we begin worship with the account from the book of Acts. And so when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And when he had said these things, as they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into the heaven? This Jesus who is taken up from you into heaven, will certainly come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. People of God, as we come to worship this day, Jesus Christ is seated at the right hand of his Father. He reigns in heaven. And it's in that confidence and in that trust that we are able to come and we worship him for who he is, him for what he has accomplished and done for us. And so I invite you to join wherever we are in celebrating all that God has done for us with the song, Oh, for a thousand tongues to sing. <laughs> 